Hello and welcome to RTV Evening News for Sunday, 12th of May 2024. Here are stories making headlines today. Sports competition carried out in the central region. Vocational training for youth in Tsetsarat Sabzon, central region. Israel strikes Eastern Rafah as ceasefire talks end with no deal. China opposes U.S. adding Chinese entities to export control lists. The sports competition on loan schools in the central region, which lasted for eight months, concluded with a ceremony held at Asmara Stadium on 12th of May. The event was attended by Mr. Sahai Haile, Governor of the Central Region, Mr. Yusuf Sayak, Head of Organizational Affairs of the PFDJ, Ambassador Samad Zamed al Commissioner of Culture and Sports, and other invited guests. Mr. Mosazgi Gazahe, Chairperson of the Organizing Committee, said that the event provided an opportunity for students to identify their talents. He commended all those who contributed to the successful implementation of the program. Mr. Belay Habtagabur, head of the education office in the region, noted that the event was a valuable opportunity for students to identify their talents, share experience, and foster unity. He praised the schools for their dedicated efforts in making the event successful. The competition included 12 types of sports and involved approximately 13,600 students organized into 876 teams. Awards were distributed to winners of various competitions. Vocational training was provided to 170 youth in the Tsetsarat subzone of the central region. The training covered a range of subjects including graphics, first aid computer technologies, and social science. Mr. Tarlowe and Mikhail, one of the coordinators of the training, emphasized that the training's objective was to nurture competent youth who adhere to noble societal values. He urged the trainees to become exemplary and influential figures in their neighborhoods and among other peers. The trainees, commending the opportunity provided, expressed their readiness to further develop their skills through practice and to improve their livelihoods. They also called for the organization of similar training programs for other youth in their areas. We'll be back with international news. Stay tuned. Israeli forces bombarded areas of Rafah on Thursday, Palestinian residents said, as Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu dismissed U.S. President Joe Biden's threat to withhold weapons from Israel if, the assault, if it assaults the southern Gaza city. A senior Israeli official said late on Thursday that the latest round of indirect negotiation in Cairo to halt hostilities in Gaza has ended and Israel would proceed with its operation in Rafah and other parts of the Gaza Strip as planned. Israel has submitted to mediators its reservation about Hamas' proposal for hostage release deal, the official said. In Gaza, Palestinian militant groups Hamas and Islamic Jihad said their fighters fired anti-tank rockets and mortars at Israeli tanks massed on the eastern outskirts of the city. Residents and medics in Rafah, the biggest urban area in Gaza not yet overrun by Israeli ground force, said an Israeli attack near the mosque killed at least three people and wounded others in the eastern Brazil neighborhood. An Israeli airstrike on two houses in the Sabra neighborhood of Rafah killed at least 12 people, including women and children. Among the dead was a senior commander of the militant Al Mujahideen brigades and his family and the family of another group leader, according to witnesses. China on Friday said it firmly opposes the, the inclusion of Chinese entities on the United States export control entities, criticizing Washington's abuse of export control measures. The U.S. Department of Commerce announced on Thursday that it has added 37 Chinese entities to the blacklist, citing alleged Chinese involvement in military and Russian issues. 
In a statement, a spokesperson for the Chinese Ministry of Commerce said the U.S. has long been overextending the concept of national security in abusing export control measures to suppress and contain companies of other countries. That has seriously damaged the legitimate rights and interests of the companies, undermined the security and stability of global industrial and supply chains, and impeded the recovery and development of the world economy, said the spokesperson. China urged the U.S. to immediately stop its wrong practice, said the spokesperson. China will take necessary measures to resolutely safeguard the legitimate rights and interests of Chinese companies. Before we go, we have a quick recap of top stars. Sports competition carried out in the central region. Vocational training provided for youth in Tatsara southern central region. Israel striked eastern Rafah as ceasefire talk and with no deal. In China opposed U.S. adding Chinese entities to export control lists. And that wraps up our new broadcast for this evening. Thank you for watching.